This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an example of how you would pair music with a Google slide deck to have a photo music video slideshow. So the first step you wanna do is make sure, and this is in a previous video, have your Screencastify running, have your photo show, um, photo slideshow add-on so you can dump pictures in easily and have your deck set up. Next piece is you're going to want to file, publish this to the web. This will make it so your slideshow will self-run and you can choose how many seconds you want, three, five, however many you feel is appropriate. You're going to want to publish this and decide if you want the slideshow to start as soon as it loads or if you want to manually start it. I recommend manually starting it so that way you can get the music in order. Um, and you can choose this restart if you would like as well. Then you will simply publish. Now, if you want to edit, you can always go in and stop publishing and have that going. Now, I'm going to take this link and I'm going to place this link in a new window. And now here's my slideshow. So notice I have Screencastify going. I'm going to want that when this is playing. Now I'm going to go grab some music. Now it's very important to note that if you plan to put this on YouTube this way, you need to make sure that your um, music is copyright free and does not have a copyright claim. Um, however, if you plan just to use this in your Google Drive and just show your class, um, and that's in your Google Drive, that's your decision, and you could have popular music on it if it's not being put into YouTube. Now, Screencastify will automatically put this in your Google Drive so you don't even have to worry about uploading. So I'd simply go get my music, maybe some music I want, maybe I want um, you know, a nice end of year song like Have It All by Jason Mraz seems to be a popular one. So before I start playing, oh, let's get that paused. I would wanna have this ready to go. I would wanna have my music ready to go. And I wouldn't wanna have Screencastify going yet. I would launch Screencastify once everything's ready to go and I would put a countdown timer on it. Now it's hard to show you that because I have Screencastify running. But I would want to have that Screencastify with um, recording internal music, which you can do. So I will see if I can get a screenshot of that for you so you can see that. So if we take a look here, I put this in. When you hit your Screencastify, I'm recording, so this is what shows. But when you're not recording, you get this little menu. And this is what you would want on. So notice I do have this pause and not auto playing. But you would want this, your microphone would be off. You might want to alter your countdown so you have time to launch the music and start playing your slideshow. And then you'd want the system audio on. So it will not record you. It will record the song from YouTube. So if you want to get this going, Alt-Shift-R will start Screencastify with those settings in place. And Alt-Shift-R will stop it. So you would simply get your slides going. So I would take my slides, get that link, get it ready. And remember, I'm going to manually play it. I'd get my music, get that ready, get past the ad, have my internal music on, so you're hearing me and you're hearing the video. Get this ready. Get this ready, hit play, and let it run with the system audio recording. And then when I'm done, it will put the video right in my drive. And you can put transitions in here, you can put words, you can do whatever you want. And notice it just plays on its own. Now be careful with any music that is copyrighted. I'll give you a resource of some free music if you're interested in then putting this on YouTube. Thank you.